Hey guys, it's Friday, and that means it's time to talk about new products. First on the list, the stepper motor. Now, we have carried a variety of stepper motors for a long time now, but this one in particular is the one that is on the Shapeoko 3, which we recently started carrying. In fact, we just released a video that outlines how to put together and start using the Shapeoko, and you can find a link to that at the end of this video. The reason that we carry these motors now is because they are the exact size and spec that are recommended by Carbide3D for the Shapeoko platform. We figured as long as we're gonna have them in stock, we should sell them separately so that you can get them to use in your own CNC-related projects. We've come outside today so that I can talk to you about the Rock Block from Rock 7. The Rock Block is a transceiver that you can use to send short burst data to the Iridium satellite constellation and back to Earth. Iridium has a constellation of 66 satellites that give complete coverage of the entire Earth. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can get a hold of a satellite, which means that no matter where you are, you can send a short message from this device to an email or to a web service. All of this is done using a pay-as-you-go subscription service, sort of like a prepaid cell phone. You buy credits using their online portal with a credit card or debit card, and then those credits allow you to send short burst data over their network. That uh, data goes from the rock block to the satellites, and then the satellites relay it to one of Iridium's ground stations. Your message then ends up in the Rock 7 core, which is their web portal. You can log into the web portal, see your messages, but also relay those messages automatically to either your email, several email addresses, or directly to a web service. So if you set up a server somewhere that's running a script, you can have Rock7 relay your message from here, anywhere in the world, directly to your web service, and then it can do things like log your location, log sensor data from out in the field, basically anything where you don't have access to a cellular network or a Wi-Fi network, but you still need to get data out to the internet. Using the Rock Block is actually pretty easy. You just connect it to five volts, and then connect a three volt FTDI, or other serial connection, and you can talk to it over UART. It runs at 19200 baud, so if you connect it using an FTDI, you can just open up your favorite terminal program, type AT, and you'll see it responds with OK. That means the module's awake, and it's paying attention to the commands that I'm gonna send to it. Now, in order to send our first message, what we have to do is tell it that we're getting ready to send it some short burst data. I'm gonna send a command, AT and K0. And assuming we get an OK back, now we can actually send the data that we want it to store in the buffer for the next transmit period. So I'm going to type AT, that's our attention code, SBDWT equals, and then our message. I think I'm gonna type ground control to Major Tom. Okay, we sent that to the module, it sent back OK, so we know it's ready to transmit. In order to actually transmit the data stored in the buffer, we type at plus SBDIX. And now the rock block's gonna look for a satellite connection, and if it can get one, it's gonna send the message. All right, I've already gotten a message back. These are essentially status codes. If I had gotten a 32 as the first number, I would know that I can't find a network. And there are some other status codes you can look up uh, in the data sheet. They have really good documentation, and that'll let you know what the module is doing. So now that I've transmitted my data, I can actually go over to Core, which is the Rock7 web portal, and under Messages, I should see, here it is, the date and time the message was sent, the message itself, Grand Control to Major Tom, and the message length, 27 bytes, and that took two credits to send. I also have this set up so that it's relaying the messages to my work email account. So if I open up my work email, I can see I have a message here from RockBlock, and that has my data in hex format, as well as the latitude and longitude where it was sent from, and finally the data in text format. Now the rock block isn't only useful for hooking up to a computer and sending data to the internet. In fact, there is an AT code you can use to send data directly from one rock block to another. So you can actually have two-way communication between two of these devices anywhere on Earth. As long as you have power, you'll have data. And of course, because it's communicating using a relatively slow standard serial connection, 
You can hook this up to an Arduino, a Redboard, a Thing, a Raspberry Pi, anything that talks serial will talk to this and it'll get it hooked up to satellites so that you can send messages to space.